Now we're going to talk about the definition of the derivative. So we're going to pick up basically where we left off in the tangent line video looking at this definition of our slope of our tangent line. So we talked about this last time. Um, again, we have this limit notation that we're going to learn more about next week. And right now what we really need to know about this is this is saying that as x gets very close to a, our slope of our secant line is going to get closer and closer to the slope of the tangent line. So that's our way that we can find that rate of change at that very specific point a f of a. So we can find those secant lines and we can take our second point that we're using to find our secant line and we can make that point get closer and closer to a and that slope of that secant line is going to get closer and closer to what the slope of the tangent line is. And we have this second notation here where we've got the limit as h goes to zero. So this is h getting very close to zero. So remember h is some small number like maybe in this case we'll talk about it being 0.25. So we're going to look at the secant lines from you know maybe a equaling 4 to a plus h which would be 4.25. So that's just another way to talk about that second point that we're using to find our secant line. So saying that, that h is getting close to zero is basically saying the same thing as we were saying up above there um, in the first definition, that that second point that we're using to find that secant line is getting really, really close to a. And when we do that, our slope of our secant line gets really, really close to the slope of the tangent line. So this process of finding the slope of the tangent line is something that we end up doing a lot here in calculus, and it ends up giving us a bunch of applications and just keeps showing up, like we say when we're looking for velocity, um, change in profit, when we're looking at growth rates. So because this is such an important thing, we have a name for it. So the derivative is the slope of the tangent line of our function f of x at x equals a. And this is just one definition. There are sort of different ways that we can talk about what the derivative is and different ways that we can interpret that, and that's what we'll look at throughout the term. But right now we're going from that tangent line and what we want to talk about it is more generally and it's going to be the derivative. So notation wise, we're going to have that m tan, which again is a slope of the tangent line at x equals a. And we're going to have a new notation now. It's going to be f with a little apostrophe there. And how we say that is that that is a prime. So we have f prime of a. And this right here is the derivative of our function f of x at x equals a. And there'll be some different notations that we see, but this we'll just use this one right now um, for a little while. But yeah, that you probably know or possibly know that there's other notations that we can use for the derivative. And one more term that we have is differentiation, and this is just actually the, the act or the process of finding the derivative. So that actual action that we do is called differentiation. So this leads us to the definition of the derivative. So maybe we'll write on here, the derivative. And notice it's exactly the same as the definition that we have up here, except that we've taken that m tangent and replaced it with that f prime notation. But it's that exact same difference quotient. We're exactly looking at that x value 
that second point that we're using to find our secant line is getting closer and closer to A, and it's just saying that what we had before, this is just a new notation for it, so just a different thing for us to call it. And it doesn't matter which sort of form of that difference quotient that we use, that slope of that tangent line is our derivative at that point. So f prime at a.